This tutorial is for third grade, module 5, lesson 14. In this lesson, we will be showing the fractions that make a whole both on a number bond and a number line. The first question shows me one whole in my number bond, and it is made up of two halves. We're going to show those halves on the number line. We'll start by saying we have zero halves at the zero point on the number line because one half is half the distance between zero and one. We'll put the one half on the first hash mark and then the second half, two halves here, will go above the one whole. So I have two sections of my number line. Each section represents one half and it takes two halves to make one whole. The next question is looking at thirds. Well, if we have thirds, we know that our whole has been cut into three equal pieces. So we'll show that in our number bond first. One whole is made up of three copies of one third. On our number line, the first mark would be zero thirds. This first section represents one third. The next section represents two thirds. And then the final section makes the whole or three thirds. We can use this same type of number line to help us with word problems. The first problem says Trevor needs to let his puppy outside every quarter or one fourth hour to potty train him. Label this number line from zero hours to one hour to show every one fourth hour and we're to include zero fourths and four fourths of the hour. So we'll start our number line with the zero point. The entire number line is going to represent one hour and we'll divide it into four equal pieces because we know he has to take the puppy outside every fourth of an hour. So I'm going to start by dividing it in half and then I'll divide each of those sections in half. So if I go back to my zero, I would have zero fourths. This first section would represent one fourth. After I have two sections, that would be two fourths. Add another section to that would give me three fourths. And finally, to complete the whole, I would have four fourths. So you can see how the hour has been divided into four sections, each section representing a fourth. The last question says a ribbon is one meter long. Mrs. Lee wants to sew a bead every one-fifth meter starting at one-fifth meters. The last bead is at the one meter point. Label the number line from zero meters to one meter to show where Mrs. Lee will sew in a bead. Label all the fractions, including zero-fifths and five-fifths. I'll put my zero again at the beginning of the number line. And at the end, we'll show the one meter mark. This time we're going to divide the meter into five sections to show fifths. So I'm going to do some estimating here on where my fifths would fall. Fairly close, okay, and then we need to label each of these sections. So I have zero fifths, one fifth, two fifths, three fifths, four fifths, and the five fifths that make up the whole. And if she's going to put a bead at every fifth mark, starting at one fifth, you can see that there would be a bead here and at the two-fifths mark, three-fifths, four-fifths, and five-fifths mark.